Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and I am so excited to show you today a fun little project where we take two envelopes from good old junk mail and we create a fabulous little double pocketed portfolio booklet thingy, which is really awesome. I'm showing you a demonstration of one of a demonstration. This is a, there will be a demonstration, but I am showing you a, um, a prototype of the one that I already made. And I'm going to give you a little tour around it. It's got some uh, vintage digi kits, my Halloween kit, uh, some pictures from that. This is uh, done in honor of Halloween this one but the next one I'm going to make with you online here is going to be a fall themed one and I have a little uh, ghost like paper clip that I have created to uh, close this together I just used some cheesecloth and some black string some black uh, jewelry cording and uh, just put a couple dots on the top there to look like eyes okay he's got a lumpy head but he's an adorable little ghost on this little vintage paper clip and uh, he was very fun to make and I thought he went along with the Halloween theme. So on here also, um, I am, oh, this is my first foray into doing a voiceover because I accidentally unplugged my, my uh, wireless mic and for the first 14 or so minutes of the video, I don't have any audio. So I am practicing a voiceover narration. The regular audio will return after around 14 to 20 minutes, somewhere in there, it will pop back on. And it's pretty good. And I, that's why I wanted to save it for you guys. So what I'm showing you here is I have used some sorry silk ribbon and um, some uh, torn white bed sheet to layer on just to uh, for extra uh, decoration and uh, to make it look very weathered and old. And I ran this ink pad, this uh, black soot ink pad uh, over the top of the white bed sheet that I tore and glued on just to give it a little bit of extra uh, wear and tear look, that vintage look, that vintage feel. Now, when you open her up, she is decorated very spookily on the inside. She's got some uh, old branch tree rubber stamps and some bird rubber stamps. Uh, there's, a, there's the hand going, come here, come here, the bony hand, pirate hand. And... Uh, there's an old uh, oak leaf, another uh, branch, and uh, the lovely crows sitting on the scary, the scary branch. It looks scary today in this scene. Anyway, uh, I put the word mysterious here and um, just did a lot of inking around just to make it look extra weathered. Uh, it's a very simple concept. Anybody can do this. It's basically marrying two uh, junk mail envelopes together, and I'll show you how to make them look kind of pretty. And uh, very easy. So what I stuffed this one side with uh, was uh, this is a picture of a vintage Halloween photo of uh, children outside. It looks like a schoolhouse or something. And this is more vintage Halloween. Uh, some pictures from the Halloween digi kit. But uh, oh, that's attached. Uh, Pam, you glued that on there. Don't forget that. This is a page from the eco printed um, digi kit. Inside I put some uh, rubber stamps of more uh, bones and skeletons and things anything that I had that I thought might look a little spooky or a little scary and uh, made it try trying to make it look like it was creeping out of the uh, the envelope oh look good I have managed to decorate myself and uh, here here I also decorated my scissors yes it was quite a skilled uh, professional day on the home front and this is the way it all went in here I have some more uh, uh, fun little uh, images from the Halloween kit and uh, you can take a peek of those and I tucked in this little picture. This is just from my picture collection of some children playing. I thought that might be fun. And uh, more from the Halloween kit. And if you don't have the Halloween kit, you, you, don't, uh, you can just use uh, whatever imagery you like. Uh, pictures from book pages, or maybe you're going to hand draw some things, or magazine pictures. Here's some old scooters tickets. Has everybody, anybody ever been to Rocky Springs Park, Lancaster, PA, and, and bought uh, scooters tickets? Maybe good for one ride on the scooter? Oh, it might be like... Um, bumper cars or something like that who knows I don't know uh, here's an old image of a lighthouse I thought that kind of went well with the spooky theme it's from 1906 I think the Marquette Harbor Lighthouse with its little story on the back uh, so you can tuck all sorts of fun things into your little double pocket envelope booklet yes you can yes you can and I will now restack all these in here I have no idea why but I just wanted to show you how they all nicely go together and you can tuck them back into the pocket let's see if I complete that here I think I did I think I did I think I did okay let's see go in there why won't we fit oh it's because you don't belong in there because you were actually tucked in separately and you fit nicely in there um, and then that goes inside there we go so now pulling out the other side 
Hey, what did I stick in here? I've completely forgotten. No, actually, I accidentally glued the one corner uh, closed and I had to pop it open there. But here, instead of cutting all the vintage Halloween pieces apart, I just kept this together and made a little booklet out of it. And I just thought that was kind of fun with the imagery. Here's a very scary uh, haunted hotel picture. And uh, some more uh, young people dressing up. Just thought it was fun. Going with the theme. Yeah, tis that time of year, you know, that's how it goes. Um, have you got your Halloween candy yet? Have you gathered it? Um, I looked in the store the day the other day. There wasn't that much, so you never know. Never know what's going on with the supplies out there. Maybe I ate them all. <laughs> it's possible. It's very possible. Uh, okay, so basically what you do, grab two um, junk journal envelopes, and uh, let's uh, go ahead and grab a piece of material, and we are just going to Take this piece of material. Well, I hopefully see that I am not in shot completely here, but um, uh, I just, uh, what's that? I have no idea. Okay, well, now I'm going to grab some, there we go, I finally figured it out. All right, yeah, I was uh, working on adjusting my, my arm and it's floating back, yes. <laughs> and we're, we realize that and we're repositioning again. Uh, yeah, playing with the arm. My new phone is a little heavier, so it kind of plays with the arm a little bit. So I'm trying to figure out the exact best way to do this. I've actually got another arm coming, so hold your breath. Things could get better with time. <laughs> All right. So basically the concept is extremely simple here. All you do is you take your glue stick, and I'm using Scotch Create Permanent Glue Stick. I just like the glue, not sponsored, just like the glue. And it works well with light fabric projects, and this happens to be a light fabric project. So you can go ahead and just give yourself a good gap of about at least a quarter to a half an inch because you want an easy fold. You don't want those little... Uh, envelope butts butting up against each other at the spine. So that gives you wiggle room. So now you have that down and you just trim off to size and you are golden. Very easy to do. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to flip it over, do the exact same thing on the other side. Oh, look how I can glue unevenly. Isn't that amazing? Well, we're just going to pretend that never happened. Oh, I brought this uh, piece of material I was digging and uh, I brought it back over and I thought we would, um, this is what you do when your material isn't long enough. Uh, for your project. So I thought I really wanted to use this material. I thought it was very pretty with the fall colors in it, um, but it wasn't quite long enough to reach the whole length of my project. So I'm going to do a little patch job. Yeah, nothing fancy here, just a little patch job, and um, we can go ahead and use this. It doesn't have to be super fat or super wide, but just as long as your material bridges the gap. And I want to tell you, I had amazing jokes uh, during this first section. Uh, but I want to tell you the extra amazing ones are in the second part where I'm actually still talking from the video. So you can see that one. So here's a, I'm doing a patch job and I suddenly find myself enjoying the fact that this could go all the way across. So instead of just doing the tiny patch at the bottom to fill in the gap, I'm going to do a complete crossover like this. I just thought it would be a nice way to use up uh, more of my scraps and also add more decor to the booklet that we're making. And uh, so I don't know if any of you are like me and you get bills in the mail. Um, I try not to get so many bills. I try to do them mostly electronically, but somehow some bills just still seem to find me. Does that happen to you? It happens to me every day. And uh, so um, I'm going to just extend to the end of the page. I'm going to do another patch this way just to complete the line. I don't really know where I'm going with this at this point. This is sort of a craft with me. Just let's see where autumn takes us with this uh, autumn themed uh, little double pouch double pocket booklet and uh, you could actually use this as a um, one signature page in a journal full of pockets uh, like you could make these, these these could be the pages in your journal and then you could sew them all together in the middle with our three hole pamphlet stitch if you ever were so inclined to do that now let us see what is going to happen next because I have no clue because <laughs> I've done several things since I did this video and suddenly discovered the audio is missing. Boy, this is a grand experiment for me. You have no idea. Well, maybe you do. You know I don't edit, right? So this is like me wading into edit world and I am uh, uh, just, I'm, I'm green as ever with this, trying to learn as I go. I've got one YouTube video running showing me how to do this. Um, this old video editor program that I bought, um, geez, I bought it way back when, when I started the channel, because I thought I was going to be editing and all this stuff, and it turns out I have not edited um, for, let's see, 
2019, since 2019. Uh, I tried it once and I failed miserably. So I don't even know if this is going to work, but let's cross our fingers. So basically, I am inking at this point. Yes, I am taking the walnut stain and I am inking. Around. Yep, it's definitely the walnut stain. I have to check because sometimes when you take the lids off, the black and the brown look exactly the same. And I had cross pollinated this project with black brown mixing on my brown with my brown dauber a million times. And it was pretty crazy, very crazy, beyond crazy. And um, so, oh, voila, I suddenly materialize a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper, which I am going to use to decorate um, the windows uh, of the front there. Those windows are going to have something peek through them. Now, um, apparently I did this differently than I did in my example because it came out differently. So I'll, I'll kind of explain as we go. Basically, you want to keep your, uh, I'm trying to measure it now so that I know how much to cut off and use inside. You want to keep it um, east of the flap and then just mark how deep you need it to go in so that it is seen fully in the envelope on the other side, the clear uh, envelope window. So with my grand measuring skills here without measuring, I managed to make a mistake and you'll probably see me try and fix that here. So. Um, that happens about every day <laughs> at, the, at the paper outpost, and we're constantly trying to uh, figure out how to fix that. I, had, I realized also it was too wide, so I have to cut that down. My two envelopes are pretty close to the same size, so you want to make sure you measure it according to the smaller envelope, and that way you only have to cut once. And apparently I'm, I'm tired of cutting, and I'm going to tear now on my little marks. There I go. I tear, and I am done. So now magically, they're not the same size. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? I don't think they are, but we'll see. Now, you can, I re, this is the tip of all tips. Tuck this in first before you glue. I tried gluing and then tucking. Don't put yourself through that. There is no need for that. That is a high stress mood maneuver that can just cause all sorts of problems in one person's very relaxed daily life. Yeah, don't do that to yourself. No, stick that thing in first and then grab your glue stick or glue of choice. And then glue the top as much as you can, the flap, it really, you don't need to glue all the way down because that thing's not going to hop out. No, and it's not going to get stuck on anything. So it's fine. Don't, yeah, no over fussing allowed here. Just relax. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. All right, now I'm going to attempt the second one. Let's see how I do with this one. Getting it in there first. Good. And there, that's far enough. It's covered. I'm happy with that. Now I come back here and I pull it out and try to go to the top of the thing. And here's where I suddenly realize... Is that where I suddenly realized? No, it must have been on the first one. I suddenly realized it wasn't, um, <clears throat> it was not going to cover what was below the window. So I ended up um, sliding it all the way down to, so it, it would be in the window, but then I had an issue with the uh, it not covering the flap. So um, what I did was I modified my flaps. And you're gonna see flap modification happening now. Okay, see, now I've got this little, uh, um, what is this? These are these fancy scissors, like they're kind of like Fiskars. I think they're called Provo Craft, and they have just a pretty little decal edge on them, and they're not expensive, and they don't work very well when your paper is wet or gluey, but I'm motoring through anyway. Let's see how I do. It's not the easiest thing to cut through this stuff, but I'm giving it the old go. The old crafter hoo-ha. Here we go. Cut that paper. It's like an alligator chewing through old marsh sticks or something like, oh, come on, can we get done here? All right, got, oh, there, yeah, much happier now. Good, one down, one to go, Pam, one to go. You can do it, take it home, take it home. All right, so we we could use this and follow the flap, but we're not going to do that because this flap needs to be shorter because the other one's shorter. So I decide to use the first one as a template to cut the second one. So that is your second big tip when doing this. That's a nice little trick. If you want to get them to look the same, just do that. Okay, and here we go. And that's all trimmed off. Very nice, very nice. And let's see. I'm gonna come along with my handy dandy brown anchor, which I think it's brown at this point. And I probably have a little black mixed in there. Yeah, it's looking pretty black at this point, isn't it? Oh, it's blacky brown. That's okay. It's all good. It's all rustic, weathered, antiqued, vintaged up. And uh, it just adds a nice little bit of appeal. And I think it um, uh, plays nicely off the uh, muslin cotton piece in the middle because it's a, a steel gray, battleship gray sort of color. And uh, now I want to do the edges of the envelope. So I'm coming along with a 
folded piece of copy paper, and I'm just using that so that I can mask or cover the, uh, the white underneath, which I realize is totally ridiculous after you're going to see my next step, because I'm going to go ahead and cover those white areas on the inside, because I didn't do that. I haven't realized it yet at this point. I'm just thinking, I'm just admiring the, my wonderful work, not realizing I have goofed, but I carry on. <laughs> like the crafting soldier that I am, just carry on and you'll figure it out later. That's, that's, that's my master plan for everything. Um, <laughs> and hey, it works in a pinch, you know? And at some point here, we're going to get close to uh, me switching over to the regular audio. So hopefully it will make sense and it will sound okay. Um, so this is really going to be the grand test. Did, did she figure out how to edit finally? Or am I even, I, I don't even know if I can get this uploaded. I will try. I will try. I will try. So we, we shall see. Uh, inking again. Yeah, inking the back. So I realized it, it either wasn't inked enough or um, I forgot to ink it. So there you go. More inking. Now I'm folding back here. Now this part is totally superfluous because I realized I am going to... Uh, put some colored paper inside those uh, pockets. So I have not realized that yet. No, no, this this you can just completely ignore. Yeah, just don't do any of this part. No, no, that was silliness. Silliness on my part. If if you wanted to uh, decorate the insides of those, and there's many other ways you could do it, but I'm going to um, take some more um, scrap paper and go in there and uh, uh, put some color in there. And I... I I'm looking at the back and the front. Yes, yes, I am there. And now I'm thinking about something. I think I've just realized my major faux pas. Yeah, so here I've produced a piece of cop, uh, scrapbook paper. I'm trying to decide which side to use. I really like that. And here's where I go off completely in left field and start making a different project. I'm going to now make the inside, the little envelope that went in the other one that will sit inside of one of the pockets. I decided I liked the, um, I used some plants and laid them down and then sprayed some ink over it and I got this pretty relief and I decided I'm going to use that to make my, um, my little envelope and now I'm cutting it and we are back and I am now making my little envelope and I'm keeping the patterns on the inside so that there is uh, some color on the inside and I'm getting a little lazy about cutting. So I pull my flap down. I realize it's too long. I'm thinking I'm going to have to cut it. But then I fold it back and I think, oh, this is kind of nice. Why don't I put that little pretty um, uh, picture there? And then I can just take it from there. So um, let's see how this goes. I am going to now attempt to sew this. Yes, here we go, attempting to sew this. All right, hopefully... All is well. I will demonstrate the sewing and then at some point I will come back and um, fill this little guy up and then pop it in there and then we will carry on with the uh, construction of the double folder. Okay, so just having some fun here. Suddenly realizing I didn't fold that over. Now I fold it over quickly to save the day. Carrying on, all is well. Going around, turning. And um, I think, I, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but I'd suddenly discovered that my uh, desk arm, which holds up my phone over me, is not strong enough to hold my new phone in its case, because my new phone is a little bit heavier with its case. And uh, so I am uh, kind of working uh, with the constraints of what that is like, and I've already ordered a new desk arm, so hopefully that will fix everything. Um, so, okay, we're getting close to 20 seconds here, so I am going to stop this very soon. We've got about one minute left, and I think it's going to roll over and me start talking again. So let's hope that's what actually happens, and there's no double talk, you know what I mean? If, there, if there's double talk, I should shut up double talking twice and carry on with just me again. So, yeah, we'll just see how all of this goes. Okay, I'm going to sign off now. There may be a couple seconds of silence or a lot of yakking, but the voice will come back. All right, talk to you soon. Okay, now you're on. Okay, now I think I'm using the, I think I was using the phone mic before, and now I'm using the lapel mic. We shall see. Still learning the systems, not proficient, fumbling through, but carrying on. I hope, I hope everything is okay. Um, we're just going to carry on. Okay. That's too small. I need a 
circle punch. That's too big. Too small, too big. Just right. Uh-huh. Where's my one inch? There it is. I want my one inch circle punch. Where are you, my one inch circle punch? Just putting this here. Making a little thumb hole. Of, for which I will now ink up to give it obviousness that there is something there to behold. And now I need my black dauber. Can you see? Can you see? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just checking. And carrying on here. Okay, we're going to ink that up. I guess we'll ink up the edges too. I'll just ink on here because, well, we probably want to dirty that up anyway. There we go. Coming along the bottom. Okay. There. That's kind of cute. Yeah. A nice little envelope. With pretty design on it. Let's see. We want to ink this up a little bit. Maybe we're going to make this an official pocket, so we'll, we'll put a thumb hole in it just so everybody knows in case they forgot or they don't know. Okay, make it look extra dirty around the thumb hole. Yeah. Okay. Brown, black. Okay. A lot of cross pollination going on here today. Mm hmm. Crazy cross pollination. Okay. Alrighty then. Um, let's go ahead and uh, who am I? Uh, Ace Ventura. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, um, I've got some pretty little pictures from uh, Autumn Dreams, really pretty, and I thought these might look nice in uh, this little fall styled collection here. And this could easily, this entire thing could be tucked into a journal, which I think would be really cute. Um, that's really pretty, I like that. I want to maybe put that on the front some, oh yeah, isn't that, that's pretty, right? Yeah, I like that there. All right, you're going to go there. So we'll put you aside. And then who is going to go in here? We need some cuties. Let's, and we need some cutie thinnies. So let's maybe put you in here. This is a pretty one, pretty girl. Breaking a tree branch. We'll put you in there. And maybe some pumpkins. That's nice. And then we could put something on the outside. Let's do this. Let's grab one of those stamps. Here's uh, my birdie stamp. And just here's an indiscriminate piece of paper. Maybe we could use this. It kind of complements the front. Maybe we should have used the white. I'm going to use the dark. Okay. Oh, that's not the black. Here's the black. Okay, I'm just going to put the birdies on here and see what happens. Okay. Did you come out? No, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so I'm going to tear this for the tear look. If you hold in your left hand, this is for right handies. If you hold in your left hand and you tear towards you with the right, you're going to get the white frayed edge, which gives you an instant border, especially if you're using a, this is a tip, if you're using a similar colored uh, paper against a similar colored paper, but you want a little bit more pop without having to layer it on something else, this can instantly give you that that little pop you're looking for because you create that white border instantly. So the tear can be your friend. That is right. All right, here we go. Yeah, that, I think that looks very nice. Okay, I, I'm going to go for it. I'm just, I'm just going to go for it. And uh, I like torn mixed with cut edges. Big fan of torn edges here. Yeah, I don't know. It's just something about it. All ratty and torn like found at the bottom of a pirate trunk or something. Um, all right, here we go. There we are. There we are. Now, maybe we want, I think it means like a number or something. Let's put a number on it. I did have, well, we'll use 25. That's a nice number, isn't it? Yes, very nice number. Is that black? No, that's brown. Oh, well, here we go. Into the black we go. Oh, maybe I want to put a, a, like a background on it or something. Yes, 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 yes. Get that little piece of something and glue it down, Pam. Glue it down. Oh, maybe we could even do something like that because this is not scary, right? No, not scary. No. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, better here. Maybe just that. Maybe no number. Maybe just a patch. Okay, let's do that. I'll just put some glue down. We'll put one piece down. Then we got to glue this on top. We'll put more glue down. This is just a little piece of cheesecloth. See that? A little piece of cheesecloth. And um, well, I'll come in a little closer for you. Okay, so I'm just sticking that down, maybe on an angle. Yeah, and if I did want to put the 25, I think I might need to maybe put it on a piece of paper first. So let's do that so it'll show up. 
All right, let's just try that. I'm just going to put a bits over here. There. Now I have 25 there. Let's see? Okay, now I'm just going to tear. Okay, I'm going to do my little tear trick, but there's, I'm, uh, this is white paper, so I'm not going to, you know, get a distinct edge or anything because it's already white paper. Okay. Uh, around in the edges. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, here we go. Gluing, gluing. So it doesn't take much, you know, or you can find a number in a book from a book page. You can do stuff like that. That's always fun. Okay, so this little guy's flap opens like that. And we have this whole other area where we can put fun stuff. So let's put some fun stuff in here. Now let's see who will fit. That's going to be the ticket. You're too fat. Not you personally, ma'am, but you're just too fat in general. <laughs> as a, as a, uh, oh, that's really pretty. I love this mysterious fall woman wearing her shawl. Hmm. I do like that. Mm, no, no, maybe back here. She could be mysterious back there. No, need something bigger back there. How about her? She's lovely. Yeah, I really like her. We'll put her back there. All right, we're just going to glue you down. We're going to glue you down, Missy. We're going to glue you down. Um, some of those autumn pictures are, I don't know, I think they're gorgeous. Um, let's go ahead and put this this way. Something for somebody to find back there. And... So I'm just seeing I have maybe, um, that's a nice, oh, I have, I have the word autumn. Let's pull that out, Pam. Use what you got, autumn. Okay. The black. Oh, maybe a little brown on it too. I think that would look cute. Black and brown. Autumn. Yeah. And now that we're rolling with that and we have a little pink going on here, maybe we'll pull out some, well, let's grab the worn lipstick. What the heck? It's here and it's pretty and I can't find my pinker pink thing. So we're going to borrow from my burgundy thing. Maybe that'll knock it down a little bit, but maybe I'm just going to come around here and put a little pink around the edges. It's kind of a, a burgundy pink at this point. And then we're going to need to knock it down a little more because we are, oops, I'm in the black. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Oh, no, that's definitely the black. Oh, I've cross multiplied here. <laughs> cross pollinated like 17 times. Oh, well, <laughs> that's the way it goes sometimes. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? That's just like nice. I don't know. I just think it's pretty. Now she could have a word or something totally going off the rails on this one, but hey, that's what it's all about. Let's put a little like line under her and maybe a stamp. And I think I had a stamp. Where is it? Where is it? Hello. Um, here's one. Okay. This is just it's kind of a long stamp, and I thought maybe I'll put that under there and it'll pop nicely. Which one's the black one? Okay. There, the, the one with the little white thing on it is the black one. Yeah, how about that? I'll put that underneath, so we're going to stamp this on here, maybe over here. Oh, there we go. And put it upside down or right side up? Hmm. Uh, maybe right side up. Okay. Now, by the magic... Of everything in me, don't smear the ink, Pam. That's the hard part. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Okay, we're good. There we go. I have a little, uh, that fills up the bottom. I think I'm a little shy on ink on, or glue on this. A little more glue under there, Pam. You got lots of glue. It's okay to use it. All right, there we go. So we have that. She's very pretty, huh? Yeah, okay, so that's the back. That's the front. We open it up and we still have nothing inside. That's because we got distracted. So this is pretty. Isn't this pretty? That's just lovely with the deer and the fall leaves. So you're going to go in there and you're going to fit. Perfect. Well, I got a couple more Halloween ones. Why don't I tuck those in there? Okay, let's do that because it is fall. And um, I think that, oh, I still have this pretty woman, but I think we're going to save her for the main event. Yes. Okay. So do we want to do something here? I don't, maybe something just, just a little, you know what I mean? A little splash of something. I don't know exactly. How about this stuff? It kind of looks like snow. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? This is this nightmare of stuff. This is called eyelash trim. The bane of anybody with gluey fingers. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to put a bead of Fabrifix along here. We're going to back away slowly. We're going to place this down and hope it sticks. We don't have too much muss or fuss. Okay, pop, pop, pop. pat it down. Oh, I think that's pretty. It just looks snowy to me. And there is a little bit of snow in fall, you know, so depending on where you are. 
Okay, not in Florida. I know, I hear you. I hear you. Okay, there we go. That's pretty, isn't it? I mean, it's just very demure, like Catherine Deneuve demure. Yeah, it's very demure. Okay. So it has surprise pocket and big pocket and stuff on back. Very cool. Very pretty. All right, let's carry on. Uh, we'll put you over here because we are going to put you inside. Okay, now let's see how deep these pockets are. Strings everywhere. Strings everywhere. We have strings everywhere. Let me shrink up a little bit so you can see. Whoop, that's too much. Right about there. Okay. Be moving around a little. Okay. Um, okay, so now we have these pockets. And I am sans decor here for some reason. How'd that happen, Pam? I don't know. I think you did it backwards, so... You just go in and fix that. Okay, I'm going in. What am I going to do? I'm going to take that pretty paper that I had, that I had dyed, and I think I'm going to insert it there. Or I could do these. That would actually look very striking. That would look very nice. Okay, so I'm going to cut this in half. Well, let's measure. Cut it in half, and then cut it to about there. Well, maybe about there, because it's got to fit in the smaller one. All right, here I go. I'm cutting it, cutting it from the bottom, that little bit off first, and then I'll cut this in half. Now this is about five, four and a seven eight, so that would be two and I don't know, around there. Uh, eyeball. Okay, that was a bit of guessing. That was called guess guesstimating, definitely. Okay, now we can go ahead and stick that in there. Let's do that. All right. We'll stick it in and then we'll glue. That's that's the ticket with this. Stick it in and then glue it. Now this is gonna get a lot extra thicker because I put all this extra stuff in, but I think it'll still be okay. It'll make the construction of this much more solid. Yes, 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 much more solid. Okay, here we go. You're going in. You have no choice in the matter. Just get in there and we're gonna glue you. Okay. So it happens pretty quickly, you know, you could make a bunch of these, they're very pretty. And they would be fun in Happy Mail or, um, you know, your junk journal or something like that. You know, you know what we're talking about. All right, let's see now. Where's that scissor? Here's that scissor of no mercy. I got to cut this line again. Okay, it's not going to be happy with me. I'm going to be fighting through um, a couple layers of paper here. But maybe that rough, thick edge might serve us well as a good, strong flapperoo. Nothing wrong with a good, strong flapperoo. So there are a lot of surfaces on this little um, thing to decorate. If you so wish, you can stop at any point. It's a the very simple construct. You can do these for anything. They would be actually really cute birthday invitations. Don't you think? I think that would be really cute. Um, but uh, you do have this surface, this surface, this surface, and this surface. And then if you put anything inside, if you wanted to do the surfaces of those, you have those surfaces. So lots of stuff, but you can take it as far as you want or as lightly as you want yeah and we focused i hope so can't see um okay so now i'm going to ink this out because we want that all inky dinky and then we want you all inky dinky oh look at that I must have run through the the pink but that's okay you know why because i was going to multicolor this ah uh, oh i have i have iced spruce now that sounds like a kind of a fall winter sort of color. I have no idea what paddle I'm going to use. Maybe green. I'll really use the green one. Okay, I'm using green. It's kind of like a gray green, I would say. Um, let me just do the edges a little more here. Hue them in a little bit. So we're adding some extra color. What are you? You're like fuzzball city here. I'm going to be falling over you. Let me remove you. Go away. <laughs> um, I like these little strings though. I think they're going to stay. Okay. Okay, all right. Let's add a little color here and there. And uh, okay, so now what are we going to do here, Missy? Huh? What are you going to do? So I did some. Oh, I did some stamps on the other one. Let me get another leaf stamp. I've got a few leaf stamps here. Here's a nice leaf stamp. I think this is the birch tree leaf stamp. If you don't have stamps, you could use stickers. You could hand draw. What color is that? Brown. I think I want black here yeah, for some emphasis. That's what I'm doing. No technique ever seen ever anywhere before. Okay. All right. Uh, here. Yeah. There. You have to like decide and go for it. And voila. Oh, not bad. 
I like that. Okay, so it disappears in this nest, but that's okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. So this I think I'm going to cover. Um, it's fine the way it is, but I just think it wants to be covered. So let's see. Let's use some of our pretty pictures. Well, she's very pretty. Do you want it? You're not sure you're too short. How about you? You're very nice. You're very solemn. You're not long enough either, but maybe we could extend you. That we could do. What about you? Nope, too wide. Go away. Uh, the wrong way. So, what are we down to? We have you, 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 you. Oh, we do have you, but you're too small. Yeah, no, we want to put you somewhere else. I think you are going to be the ticket, but we need to extend you. So, how do we do that? How do we do that? Well, they have multiple ways. Um, let us see where the spine is. We have a piece of this left over. We could mount you on there and just put you there. Okay, but that's not a lot of contrast. And um, I think I would like a little more contrast than that. What are you going to do, Pam? You're going to go in your, you know what, you're going to dive into your scrap pile and pull something out. What's that? Okay, let's look at this, that. Okay, we got some stuff. I don't know what it is. I just pull out some stuff. Here's some stuff. Okay, now let's see, where are we? Are we in the picture? Oh, okay. Okay, so we have this. That's kind of cool. It's from an old uh, music book, I believe. That would give us some nice contrast. Not too wide. That would be very nice, actually. Maybe we'll just do that. Or, or let's just double check. We don't want to do any of these. No, that's too noisy. Then there was this. I was thinking we could make maybe make a border. So, well, that's actually very pretty. I do like that. We may be going with this one. Yeah. I think I like that a lot. That's really pretty, isn't it? Let's just do it. Let's just not ask any questions. Let's just go forth and do it. We're just compelled. And we're following our little instincts. Off we go. It's only paper, right? Just remember that. It's only paper and we're only having fun. And let's just see what comes of it. Oh, that's kind of cool too. So this side, maybe though, right? Better, this side, maybe that side. Okay, put it down. All right, I'm just I'm never sure if I'm 100% sure, but sometimes you just have to decide and go for it. And then this one, make sure it's not in the fold. Okay, we'll glue you down now. And you could use the glue stick again. I hope you're having fun out there. Are you, are you having fun with your papers today? Is there crafty art time? I hope uh, no matter what you're doing, you're having some fun. And, uh, you know, it's. I hope you're enjoying the autumn of it all. Maybe the Halloween. Um, or if you don't do Halloween, then back to the autumn. You know, it's kind of fun. Okay, so somehow magically that covers now. I don't know. Did I know that before? Hmm. I don't know if I knew that. That's kind of pretty, isn't that pretty? I don't know, that's just really pretty. Okay, so now, do we want something up here? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Um, we have this nice little thing. Yeah, what are you doing there? Let me, I don't even know what you are, but you're some, some old really cool book page about something. Let's see what it says. A number of reports on drug therapy have been indicated that in patients whose disease cannot be treated surgically, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to add there. Mm -hmm. It's like it found me. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> All right, so let's just tear that out. That's a very delicate paper. Well, that that kind of that printing there is stronger. But then, okay, we'll just glue it down the way we originally had it planned. Okay, and here we go. Here we go. Oh, maybe I want to ink it. All these little things, these little things when you're creating, you know, it's so much fun. Oops, oh, oh. okay, fine. I dropped my ink pad on my work. Does that ever happen to anybody or is it just me? We're going to just work it into the design. That's what we do, right? Because that happens, you know, when you're doing reckless abandon, things happen like that. So if you just come along and do that, you know, you just, just work with it. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just go with it. All right. So now we have this. Yeah, that's what we do. And uh, so you'll you'll know if you ever get one of my pieces, if it looks like uh, something happened, it probably did. <laughs> yep, it did. All right. Let us go ahead and tuck some funsies in here. So these are some pretties. We'll put this lovely lady in her shawl. The shawl must have been the thing back then. Do you fit? Oh, you do fit. Yay. Oh, you might not fit. You might be a little fat. Yeah, I'm sorry, ma'am. You're too fat. Okay, not personally, just the, the shape. Okay, and let's maybe put this one in here and this one in here. We can put some other things like uh, postcards and just, oh, we have this. We want to put this in here. Let's put this one in here, let's say. Yeah, that's very good, yes. And um, 
we need to make a fold, don't we? Yes, we do. Let's reinforce our fold from whence it came. There we go, doing that one. And then refolding this, doing that one. Maybe folding back, doing this maneuver, getting that going again because we forgot to put color on the inside. You don't have to put color on the inside, but if you do, you can have fun with it. And uh, so, yeah, if you have a big pile of scrapbook paper and you're wondering what to do with it, uh, sometimes a themed um, creation such as this is a way to use up that paper. So if you have some that are already distinctly themed, you can just go with that, or you can turn them into a theme. For example, for example, let's say you don't have fall themed paper, but maybe you have a rubber stamp with a leaf on it. Yeah, that's all it takes really. And uh, see, so here's a, here's a rubber stamp with a leaf. And remember, if you don't have the stamps or the stickers or the digikits, you can always draw. Yeah. And if you can't draw, then you can tear pictures out of a magazine or a book and use those. So here, I'm just turning this into fall theme. Yes. Bringing the autumn in. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, move that one. Yep. You don't want to move your stamp once you put it down. That's not good. No. Okay. Karen, we'll just put two on that side. Okay, so we have some fall stuff going on there. Okay, so maybe I want to make the middle spine a little dark and dirty and dank, like it came out from under an old tree look. All right, get on the edges, get on the edges, yeah. Here a little bit more. Maybe we need to have a little I don't know. Let's see what we got. Barn door. No, there's got to be. Oh, here we go. Here we have aged mahogany. There you go. That is actually what this is for. So let's do a little of that. Let me just like rub it around the ed edges here a little bit. Like, oops, I colored the thing underneath. Oh, well. Um, that happens, you know, a little reckless abandon going on here. Yeah, it happens. That's all right. Just carry on. Yeah. It was all part of the process. This is actually looking really pretty. Um, I, you know, I wasn't sure about it in the beginning, but then you keep going and you keep going and all of a sudden it starts to come together. Okay, so we have that. And then we have these that fold henceforth. Yes. <laughs> there they go. Did we ink those edges? Not very well, Pam. I'm not really happy with your, your inking there. Back to ink 101 for you, Missy. Yeah, what was that? Like half an ink process here. Not very good. Not very good. Okay. I'll just cover those in. And maybe we'll put, um, let's put maybe like a little side oak leaf coming here because it's very leafy and oaky what we're doing. Okay. Does it look like an oak? It looks like fingers or something. That's okay. It's okay. We'll do the same here. Maybe we'll do a sideways one, like a, a half a leaf. Let's see how that comes out. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. But maybe when they'll see this one, they'll know that's what that one is. Yeah, there we go. So that's what it looks like on the inside. It opens up and you have that and you know what's inside. Now we have the outside. Hmm, now that's magically at the top. Look how that happened. I, did, I forgot to look. So make sure that you look if you want to put certain things in certain places before you glue them down because now we have that at the top and that's okay. We don't mind that at the top. But what else are we going to do with this area? Are you, you're just too plain. Oh, no, you're doing just meant now too, but no, I don't think so. Well, you're kind of a nice look. Let me lean you up a bit. I'm just going to shave your sides up. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm going to shave your sides. Yeah, you're looking a little hairy today. Okay, here we go. There we are. Very nice. Okay, you're a little tall for that. Well, I could cut you down. Okay, I'll cut you down even more. We have our ways. Yes, we do. We just keep cutting. All right, you lost your bottom. Oh, we'll use your bottom for something else. Oh, you fit perfectly now. Look at that. All right, so now how do we want you to stand out a little bit? Um, we could glue you right down, but maybe if we ink... Oh, we're going a little long time here, aren't we? Okay, we'll talk faster. Talk faster, Pam. Is that brown or green? Or uh, it's, is that black? No. <laughs> uh, here's black over here. That's the way it goes. Yep. Does that happen to anybody else? Yep. I think I'm, all my inks are eventually just going to become a nice gray-brown. Yeah, and that's actually a pretty good color to work with, so I think I'm okay with that. 
Okay, so let's just darken these corners up a little bit. Maybe we don't have to add anything to it. Maybe we're just going to make a little vignetted style frame with the inking. Let's just see how that goes. Okay, more like a photograph or something. Well, that's kind of neat. All right, I can work with that. And then we will do some fun things to the... Look at, oh, I like that ice spruce, how it got dragged through the ice spruce. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll do a little more ice spruce on the, uh, the front of this. Okay, here we go. I oh, don't have any glue down there. Missed a whole side. Okay, there we go. And yeah, let's plop her down. Let's plop her down. Oh, very nice. Okay, so, yeah, apparently I must have come along and done something. Like, you can you can draw with your ink pad. If it's really juicy, it's easy to do. And this just kind of, I don't know, makes it gives it a little bit of drama. You know what I mean? I'm just going to put a little drama in here. Okay. Yeah, I like that, how that looks around the edges. Let's maybe do it now. I'm doing the edges in it. I like it. Okay. I think we could do something there. All right, let's see what we got. What do you have, Pam? All right, I'm looking. I'm looking to see what I have. And I have more bed sheet. Oh, that would be, that would be kind of cool. Let's do something with the bed sheet. Oh, maybe it's too white. I don't know. Let, let me look. Uh, what else do we have here? We have a little bit of... Oh, that's nice. I have some sorry self-care. I'm going to pull over. Maybe we can play with this. I don't know if these colors are working right, but this one, right, this one, right, this little piece here, that might look neat. Uh, oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Sometimes you can tear this stuff with your hand. It's like not super strong all the time, uh, but that is mightier than me, so we'll just cut you there and toss you aside, put you here. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Let's do it. Um, yeah, reckless abandon happening. Yeah, don't know where this is leading, just having fun. Having fun with the sari silk and the fabric and the autumn theme. So yeah, if you're ever at a loss of what to do, maybe consider a theme and just see where it takes you because it can be a lot of fun. All right, there we go. We have that. Now it's on the outside, just like that. And do we want to add any, um, I think we want something here and here, don't we? Yes, we definitely do. Why don't you get something? Go ahead, go ahead, go. We'll wait. No, take your time, Pam, really. It's not like you didn't know you were going to do the video. Go ahead, just really, it's fine. Um, okay, I'm grabbing a pile of stickers, and I thought maybe we could add a sticker. That might be fun. Oh, here's a moon. Now, that would be cool. You know, harvest moon. Oh, I saw a really cool hunter's moon today. It was so amazing this morning. It was big and fat and chubby and awesome. That really looks cool. I like that. Um, I think I'm going to stick the whole thing down. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, because uh, it's very thin and fussy, and it's I just, I don't know, just something tells me just stick the whole thing down. So kind of know that you can consider your stickers um, fussy cut images. You don't have to always peel them off of uh, their backing. You can just use them as they are. I think that looks kind of cool. And uh, what's that, a bell? No, oh, that's too much. Bell over here? No. Try some different things on for size. Oh, that's cool, like an old, old uh, gramophone or something. That makes no sense. Okay. Easter? No. 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 I would like a mushroom or something. Huh? Yep. There you go. No, no, wrong color. You know, sometimes it takes a bit to find the right thing. Okay, that, that I kind of like. Yeah. That I like. Okay. Because mushrooms to me symbolize fall. The fall and the autumn of it all. Okay, here we go. Now this time I'm using glue stick, which I think is going to be fine. All right, there we go. And then we have that and that. And I think that um, maybe let's pull out a little bit of accenting just to have some fun with it and see where it takes us. Um, maybe I'm going to pull out. What are we going to pull out? What are you going to pull out, Pam? I could pull out the stickles because you have it. And I could pull out gold would be nice. Yeah. And maybe a little black. Black anchoring, black nouveau. I also have the enamel drops right here, but this, this is just what I pulled out. Black nouveau drops. Liquid pearls in copper pearl color. What's this? Brass is nice. Yeah, stickles in uh, rose gold. So let's see. Ah, now fall. Fall is very pretty with its colors. We do have some black here. Maybe we want to put some black over here just so we have some. And let's 
maybe down up, down up. Can you see? Are we in the picture? Uh, down up, down up, down up is the motion. Down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. Okay, have that. So that helps. A little black over there, a little black over there. That's good. Okay, so now let's maybe add some this copper color. And I have a funny feeling I'm going to have to um, encourage the opening because mine are very old and they get thick and clogged and I did the big mistake don't ever do this when you get them and it gets clogged don't cut off the end like because you want trying to get rid of the clog clear it with a pin a clean pin is best because it's a very narrow opening and um, yeah that's your I think the best ticket let's try this probably get a big bleach no that's all right okay so that this is it. yeah just kind of Clear it out like that and, and then just, you know, you could do a test one, but we'll just do it and see what happens. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's, work down, it's working. Down up, down up, down up, down up. And this again is liquid pearls in copper pearl. Anybody's curious? Down up, down up, down up, down up. So it's just a great, fun way to make a few little extra accents on it. If you didn't, oh, okay, if you didn't... Uh, have something to play with then you do and these are going to last you a long time because they go really far I don't think I bought like a bushel I mean literally a bushel full because you know I thought I had to have a bushel full but um, they've lasted forever I mean I just I have not had the need to go buy more so the, a little goes a long way look at my ink pads all drying up but I fear not because they're just air drying so I can re-wet them so I'm not worried but it'd probably be better to cover your ink pads there we go Maybe we want to do a little here. Oop. Yeah, make sure you go down, up, and until it releases, or else you'll get a drag drop. Yeah, we don't want you having a, a drag drop. No, not you. There's a drag drop. Did you see it? I'll show you. Mm, yep, there it is. Now you can come in there and futz with it, but I think I'm just going to leave it be because this is kind of a rustic old design. And I think it might be better if I just leave it alone. Because sometimes you come in there and you try and remove it with your thumbnail and it's worse. So uh, I consider it part of the artistic design. Maybe to come in with more of this. Maybe it's this on here. That might look nice. Okay, here's this. Is the, what is it? Copper pearl, liquid pearls? Yeah, are we still recording? Uh, yep, I think so. Let me check. 52 minutes. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad as I thought. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And then maybe I'm just going to follow the inside of her circle as an extra fun. And maybe give her a dot to match that. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, I think, I think we're done on that one. And of course, I don't want to touch it because you know me. Um, so there you go. This is the, uh, the uh, fun of using two junk mail envelopes and just turning them into something really cool. Um, you can totally cover any of the writing if you want, but I kind of I kind of like to add the uh, the essence of the original product in there. Ah, sometimes I cover it up completely. Who am I kidding? Um, and you guys know all my secrets, so I can't hide anything from you. And um, uh, so that's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> this is what it is today. And uh, so um, I hope you had fun here. And oh, you, well, you want a word from so and so? Let's see. Come here, so and so. <laughs> so and so. so. Excuse me. Who is so and so? Oh, hang on. <laughs> Who is this so and so you speak of? I know not of this so and so. Nope, I don't sew at all. I've never sewed once. Nope. What? Mo I watch mom follow with her sewing machine, but I'm going to. I'm going to stare you down with my little sleepy eyes. Yeah. Are you sleepy? Are you sleepy? You're all, oh, I'm awake now. Hello, everybody. Hey, are you having fun? I hope you're having fun. Take care. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. That was, that was very nice, Sunshine. Thank you very much. We always appreciate a few words from you. And uh, so there you go, folks. Look, at you can end up with gooey, sticky, marked up hands like me and maybe have a fun little project at the end of the day. So um, low stress, lots of laughs. Let's just have a good time. And um, the, my videos, uh, for those of you who are uh, brand new, please, um, this, these are all the things that I have to offer you at the Paper Outpost. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, and they're free to listen to, and they're topics on um, junk journals, paper crafting, life of a crafter, answering crafty questions, 
plus more. And um, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. If you haven't signed up for that, please go ahead and sign up because you get a free digi image emailed to you every month. Uh, it's a digital image and it is, um, you can print it out and save it and use it any way you like in your artwork. And um, uh, you get a checklist of supplies, note from the bookmaker explaining what a junk journal is and how to use it. And I like to tuck these in, inside of my big chunky monkey journals to kind of explain what it is <laughs> and how you can use it and uh, you're going to get updates from me a peek of the up and coming digis and uh, some other fun things and uh, i have an amazon shop where i have my favorite tools and supplies you can find me on instagram t pinterest twitter linkedin and facebook i should really come up with a song for all of this and all the links are in the drop down box if you find value or have fun please like subscribe and share and click the notification bell and remember most of all that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon. She fades away. See you next time. Bye.